Hey, Sean, uh, can we start with uh, injury updates from last night? Uh, Dodson, Ford, and Cam Lewis. Yeah, they'll all be week to week. Uh, that's the best I can tell you right now, Thad. Um, and then uh, John Brown, I know he played 51 snaps, but didn't seem quite 100 percent. Is he doing all right coming out of that game? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think he's a little sore, you know, still not 100 um, percent. Still working through it. Uh, we'll just monitor him this week as we move forward here. Um, and then there's been a lot of discussion about the defensive game plan from last night. Can you draw a line between, you know, because we, we talked about rush yards and issues there and, and you were talking about preventing explosive plays. Can you draw a line between what was acceptable defensively last night and what was not? Well, it's at every, every week, what's acceptable is up to our standard. And uh, when you lose the game, it's not obviously not up to our standard. We had moments in the game that I thought we, we did it. We handled it well. And then there's other moments we certainly didn't handle well. Um, in particular, the, the uh, second to last drive when we let the quarterback scramble uh, twice in critical moments of the game. Um, you know, I think overall, you know, against a good offense, and I think this is probably where you're going with that, is you got to be able to take away what they do best, you know, uh, regardless of who you're playing, run-wise or pass-wise. And we've shown we can do that. Last, you know, last night in the, in the pass game uh, specifically, and then weeks before in the run game with Jacobs and, and Henry in the weeks prior, I think the bigger thing is, you know, being able to manage the, the secondary uh, weapon of the offense, in this case, which was the run. And, and uh, we've got to be able to do a better job in that area in terms of limiting some of the damage, at least, um, and, and uh, giving ourselves a better chance to get off the field on third downs. Appreciate it, Sean. That's what I was looking for. Thanks. Sure. Hey, Sean, John Scott. Uh, following the Tennessee game, you were open about how the defensive line needed to produce more pressure on its own. How do you feel they did last night? Well, I thought there, again, there were some moments, uh, John, where they did that well previous to prior to halftime there and, and then some other moments in the game. Um, but we got to be, again, coordinated with our rush effort. Uh, we had, again, uh, the quarterback scrambling yesterday hurt us in critical moments, as I said earlier, and, and we can't allow that to happen. And you obviously made the moves with Trenton Harrison uh, sitting out. Do you anticipate exploring other changes up front heading into Sunday? Well, we look at everything. Thanks, Sean. Sure. Hey, Sean, um, if I could ask you about uh, the running game. I know you are a big proponent of it, but this season it really has not gotten on track yet. Can you give us a couple reasons why, what you're seeing when you watch film as to why you can't get the, uh, the run game established? Well, you know, I think we're looking hard at that over the last couple of weeks in particular, last three weeks, uh, Sal. And it's something we have, we have to be able to do better. In particular, if they're going to give us what they're giving us on defense, we've got to be able to run the ball um, into the cover two shell, um, specifically in the, into the cover two shell. And then Devin Singletary, I know a lot of things go into this because you've got to have the line working and everything else, but it just seems like last year we saw some elusiveness, explosiveness from him at times, and it seems to be missing right now. Is there something you can pinpoint as to why he maybe hasn't had some of those impact plays so far? Well, I thought his best game was the Raider game. Um, quite honestly, he had some good runs there, and, and uh, I thought last week, uh, Titans, the Titans week, uh, excuse me, he got, you know, interrupt, in, interrupted, disrupted before the, before the line of scrimmage. And, and so, you know, last night I thought we had some, some moments where we got him going in the run game and then, and then some moments where we didn't. So, you know, it's always, it's always a collective effort uh, when you're talking about the run game on, on both sides of the ball, offensively with the offensive line, receivers and tight ends all blocking and the running backs doing their job. And, and so it's the same way on the defensive side. Corners have to tackle, but it starts up front. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Hey, Sean, how close were Matt Milano and John Feliciano to, to playing last week? I know Milano was listed as questionable. Feliciano, I don't think, has been activated yet. But how close are those guys to coming back? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to get into that, Marcel, just because that's, that would basically be communicating directly to our opponent this week. So I'm not going to get into that right now. But uh, I can tell you that, that uh, we're moving in the right direction. All right, fair enough. Thanks, Sean. Coach Mookie Hawkins, Buffalo Sports Tenetti, how you doing? Good, Mookie, how are you? I'm okay. Um, um, hey, you know, 
I'm not sure. I mean, giving up 240-something yards you know, on the ground, uh, 160 of that was pretty much on you guys' sideline. Uh, was that the game plan to play a little bit more passive-aggressive to give them the run instead of the pass? Because, you know, Mahomes said it that you guys were playing six, seven, you know, yards off of coverage, so they decided to run the ball. But was that the game plan yesterday, Coach? Well, the game plan, uh, again, without getting into strategy in too much detail, the game plan was to obviously win the game and, uh, you know, do whatever we needed to do to win the game. And you go into every game, Mookie, with a, with a plan, and, and you try to execute that plan to the best of your ability. And, and so we knew we wanted to go in and not allow Patrick Mahomes to beat us down the field like he has so many times this year and last year when they, when they, when they won the Super Bowl. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, obviously we didn't do enough starting with me to win this football game. And, and uh, we've got to learn from it like we did this morning watching the film and then put it behind us as we move forward into, a, into an important week against the Jets here. Absolutely. Um, you know, Achilles Hill, third down. And, you know, Coach, I know you can't want it for him. You know, you can't go out there and play for him. Getting the team off, off the field on third down is a want. You know, how much does that bother you? You know, what really bothered you yesterday? Well, with respect to the third down, those third downs in, in the uh, last six minutes, seven minutes of the game, uh, we got to be able to get off the field. One was third and third and 12. The other one was, I believe, third and six. We've got to be able to get off the field and not allow the quarterback to beat us in those situations. Right, and, and maintain a composure, you know. So you know that killed you too. But I know you'll get the. I know you'll fix it some way, Coach. Back no, to the drawing board this week. Appreciate it. Hey, Sean, Josh Reed here. Um, <clears throat> just kind of listened to you talk last night, and, and even a little bit here today. Um, is it fair to say that you saw enough? from your defense to not be discouraged? And in particular, the fact that it's 26 points, at the end of the day, keeping points off the board is the, is the number one goal. Well, it wasn't enough to win the game at the end of the day, Josh, and that's, that's the measuring stick that, that I use, that we use, and, and I, like, I know those guys take a lot of ownership in that. We gotta do more. Um, and that's, that's what a team does, is they support one another and all three phases feed one another and, um, you know, I thought we were in the game in the fourth quarter, which we were. And uh, obviously, we could have played better, specific to your question on defense in moments of the game, uh, several moments of the game. And, and so, um, you know, again, that third, that, those third downs on that critical drive, um, you know, we want to be better on third down. We can't allow that to happen. It's happened way too many times uh, where the quarterbacks pulled the ball down and, and made a play uh, either with his feet or with his arm in this case, both. So we've got a, it's a, it's got to be a mindset on third down, and, and we haven't gotten there yet on defense. All right, thank you, Sean. Hey, Sean. Um, how did Harrison and Trent respond uh, to not being in the lineup when you gave them that news? Yeah, they were pros about it. Obviously, they wanted to be out there, but they but they were pros about it, which is what we expect. And when when it comes to Trent in particular guy who, who gets paid good money um, and a guy that you guys decided to keep around um, this season. Why keep him around if he's not going to be part of the plan um, in one of the most important games of the year? Well, I'm, I'm not going to get into why keep him around based on what, he's, what money he's making and all that type of stuff. Uh, that's for you to talk about, Matt. But I'm going to play the players that I think that give us the best chance to win every week. That's what I get paid to do. And, and uh, that's what we continue going forward here. In regards to the two-point conversion um, and, and taking the extra point, um, I know you said you don't have a crystal ball and all that, but what was the sheet telling you? What, what were the numbers telling you and what went into the decision, I guess? Yeah, we felt, we felt <clears throat> good about getting a stop on the ensuing drive. Obviously, that didn't happen. And, uh, and so taking the, the, uh, the one at that point, we felt like was the right call. Um, then you get into, again, crystal ball of, hey, um, not being able to hold them to a field goal and ensuing drive, all that type of stuff. Then you're, you know, if you, if you go for two and you don't make it, then what does that mean, you know, further on down the line for us as an offense with time left and all that type of stuff. So we felt like at that point in the game, Matt, uh, taking the one was, was, the right, was the right move for us. Thank you, Sean. 
Hi, Sean. It's Jay with the Buffalo News. With uh, Cody being week to week now, is there any update on, on Quentin Spain and, uh, you know, whether he was close uh, to being able to go yesterday? Uh, you know, no real update. Uh, he was, you know, in a, in a position where he was still out as of yesterday. So, uh, you know, we'll see. We, we will reevaluate where he is uh, this afternoon and, and this week here. And I, and I know you said earlier about John, you, you do have a decision to make pretty soon. Uh, where are you in terms of your timeline and making that? Are you leaning, you know, are you feeling like the team is ready to make a call on that one way or the other? Yeah, we'll, we'll talk more about that today. We had some, I uh, call it minor talks about it this morning, and, and uh, Brandon and I have to revisit that this afternoon as we get back together here.